Now that Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker is out in theaters, a lot of fans have been wondering about the future of the Star Wars franchise by Disney and Lucasfilm beyond Episode 9. This is Mike Zero. Make sure to subscribe if you are new to the channel for future Star Wars content. Now, one thing about this movie is that we do know that it finally crossed the 1 billion mark at the box office worldwide speaking just yesterday, so at the very minimum, it got 1 billion at the box office worldwide, and hopefully, it will top The Last Jedi's, which stands at 1.3 billion, so we'll have to wait and see. Now, on top of all this, we do know that Disney and Lucasfilm, they have priorities as of right now. They are looking at over 10 years worth of Star Wars material. They are looking at projects that are related to Disney Plus and theatrical releases. And Disney CEO Bob Iger is actually looking into developing a new Star Wars universe. Which, by the way, guys, in case you guys did not know, this is going to come in the forms of TV shows, books, novels, comics, movies, and beyond. That's all going to interconnect to each other and will be modeled after the Marvel Cinematic Universe, where each and every project is going to be interconnected, which I think a lot of fans are going to have different opinions on that. A lot of people are going to have different feelings about that, without a doubt. So we'll have to wait and see exactly how the fans are going to look at this throughout this entire decade as the new expanded universe grows with each and every year. Now, on top of all of this, one of the big decisions by Disney and Lucasfilm has to do with the Skywalker bloodline. The Skywalkers, right? So, it's explained that both Disney and Lucasfilm are currently focused on the future of Star Wars that comes after Episode 9, and that they already have over 10 years worth of Star Wars projects in the early works. It said that Lucasfilm is looking to restart slash refresh the Star Wars franchise and the Skywalkers by retconning elements of the entire Skywalker saga and expanding it beyond Episode 9 as well. It's explained that they plan to retell the stories of the Skywalker saga in their upcoming new Star Wars universe, that they will expand many of the core characters, and that they are looking to reset many of the canon pieces of lore in the Skywalker saga that will make it a new experience for the Star Wars community to look into once they have a library's worth of Star Wars material throughout this entire decade. The first big step into refreshing the Skywalker saga is that Lucasfilm and Disney are in, in negotiations on developing a brand new Skywalker that would be connected to Luke Skywalker, the tragedy of Luke's child and wife that they are looking into making into a brand new story, as well as developing another new Skywalker that would be the child or children of Rey that would bring the Skywalkers into a different era. It's noted that this decision comes from Disney CEO Bob Iger to make the new Star Wars universe closer to how the old expanded universe treated Luke Skywalker having a child, Ben Skywalker, and that they are trying to emulate what was done in the 90s and the 2000s as close as possible, and that they are also looking to fully restarting the Skywalker saga in the form of their books, novels, and comics, with Rey having children of her own and starting a brand new Skywalker family tree, this would be Disney's way of satisfying both old and new Star Wars fans of introducing a new set of Skywalkers into the new Star Wars universe. So let's go over a couple of parts about this. Now obviously, like I say, this is their way of satisfying both fans. This big plan that they are trying to put together as we speak of having a story of Luke actually having a child and a wife. You know, the, the fact that he had a family would actually be a tragic story. So it could be something around the lines of perhaps maybe they die or maybe they're murdered for all we know. Who knows? There could be more to the story of Luke's Jedi Temple than we already know about. So the fact that they're trying to change elements of the Skywalker saga, such as them in negotiations of making Luke having a child sometime in between the events of Return of the Jedi and, of course, The Force Awakens, really does kind of seem like they're trying to emulate the old EU when Luke had a child called Ben Skywalker with Mara Jade. You know, Mara Jade was his wife in the old expanded universe, and they're trying to emulate all of that as much as possible. Now, the way that they're trying to also reset the Skywalker saga is by having Rey having children, or a child, into the new Star Wars universe beyond Episode Nine. And it would really lead one to believe that this is also their way of continuing the Skywalkers in a different way. You know, this is their way of satisfying the new fans, the fans that love the character of Rey, that have no problems with the Rey Skywalker format 
at the very end of episode 9. So, like I've said before in the past, we do know that Disney and Lucasfilm, they're really trying their very best in order to make the new EU as successful as possible. They're trying to please both the old and new fans by introducing a new Skywalker or two, or even more, that's going to really bring the bloodline into a different era. And this also kind of reminds me of what they did with the Legacy comics. You guys may very well remember the Legacy comics, uh, where we had Cade Skywalker and all these descendants of the Skywalker bloodline. That could very well be their version of that when they have raised children. That could be their version of the Star Wars Legacy comics. Whereas, where Luke has a child, it's going to be their own version of Ben Skywalker from the old EU, where it's going to be more so a tragic story. So that could explain as to why Luke does not have a son or a daughter or whatever have you in the sequel trilogies because it probably would be a story where they die or something happens to them for all we know. And that's they're going to be their way of refreshing the Skywalker saga through books, novels, and comics. So anyways guys, drop a comment below. Let me know think about all this in the comments. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support. And I'll catch you guys next time.